so you've come. I spoke to my master after you left. It seems my predecessor also requested a duel from our last guest. Though there's no way of knowing whether the boy took her up on the offer. <laughs> I called her foolish, but it seems we are kin indeed. Are you sure you're ready? As the one who rules over power, I will fight with the utmost deference to you. Show me what lies beyond a mere exchange of words. I am charged with the heat and tension of battle. Now we begin. Don't disappoint me. Huh? Wasn't she a... What the... She's floating? Her power level is insane! Don't tell me you're going to fight her! Soda! Persona too? Just oh, what? Is she? Me by fighting as though you mean to kill. To hold back would be nothing short of insulting. Just watch. Don't let me down.
Just watch. Yukiko-senpai, are you okay? Yukiko-senpai's dizzy. Can you stand? I'll finish you! <sighs> How long has it been since I've felt this invigorated? My apologies, but I'm even more eager to defeat you now. Don't let me down. <laughs> Just watch. <laughs> Persona!
Akiko Senpai, are Stand you okay? <laughs> Yukiko Senpai needs help. Persona. Can you stand? Shouldn't someone heal Yukiko Senpai? Go! Senpai needs help. 
Shouldn't someone heal Yukiko-senpai? Persona! That's a tough... While we were fighting, I recalled the fairy tale that girl told me once. Before that girl left, she told me this. A soul slumbers at the ends of the world, that of a young man who devoted himself to becoming a seal. That soul is risking itself to prevent mankind, who has lost the joy of living, from calling down ultimate destruction. She told me that she was going to save him from that fate. To tell the truth, I wondered what sort of nonsense she was speaking. But no, she was serious. She said if she couldn't do it alone, she would combine her powers with those who bonded with that soul to enact a miracle. Maybe all that she said was the truth. And that was her reason for leaving the Velvet Room. She must have come to realize what I now understand. You, a human, one against me, one who rules over power, you have shown me one's potential. Those who search for themselves are no one as long as the search continues. It is an emptiness, but limitless potential. It means the seeker can choose to be anything he or she wishes. That's why she made a choice. I had planned to bring her back by force, but I won't interfere with her anymore. Her wish seems staggering to contemplate, but fortunately the chains of time are loose for us residents. Even if there isn't time enough in a single era and it takes her eons, she will accomplish her mission. This boy she took such a fancy to. <laughs> I'm somewhat curious as to what kind of human he must be. Your victory was truly amazing, and I must thank you. Of all the humans I've encountered until now, you shook my soul the most. This is proof of my reverence. Please accept it. With that much power and will, you can overcome any obstacle. 
Should you ever run up against your limits and feel you cannot overcome your boundaries, you'd be lying to yourself. Simply recall today's victory. There's no need to worry. Even if you should lose everything, your soul will not be isolated. And if that does happen, just as she did for the other boy, I shall do for you. Well then, I will return to the Velvet Room and take up my original duties. Let us meet again.